Welcome back to DC Universe Online. Let's play this as Sambo. <clears throat> um, you know what? I just found out uh, a great thing from. Uh, oh, 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 oh. We want to collect that. Alright, I just found out something before, um, you might remember in the last video I was complaining about this bug whereby if I change my hands to different styles it's not showing. I asked in general and uh, some kind person actually told me, look, it's your primary weapon showing, so if I set my weapon to bare hands, uh, that's a good tip here, now when I, if you have a look here, if I change my actual hand style, you'll see it's actually working. So it wasn't a bug after all, it was just that the weapon model takes priority. So that's pretty cool. So um, I will put those ones on for now. Now another thing by the way, you can actually lock um, the style. So even when you equip a new one, a, a new item, it will just keep the style you've got here until you manually come in and change it. If you don't want to be coming in all the time, you can, you can lock that style set, which is quite good. Alright, so where were we? We were um, uh, doing a, the next part of a quest for Wonder Woman, which is to intercept some guys carrying soul globes before they can deliver them and fend them off. So whereabouts are they? Let's have a look. Okay, so they're a couple of blocks over. So we'll head that way. Um, we're level 5, um, and very soon, once I start leveling up a little bit more, I'll be able to show you some more interesting stuff. Might take a break with the videos until I get to that point so that you can start, I mean I'm sure you don't want to watch me play the entire game with all the quests and all the rest of it, really what I wanted to do was show you all the different aspects of it. Part of that will be doing these things here, so for example the um, basically the dungeon finder, so the, the vaults, the arenas, the alerts, um, the PvP etc etc, that's the stuff that um, I, I do want to show you that's a lot different from just basic questing. but. For now, um, let's actually go in and do a bit more questing. You're like my hero. Yeah, I like super action all the way. Combat is rarely boring, as in rarely boring, as in not much at all. I'm, I just, I mean I find myself actually in between missions actually just wandering into areas and beating the crap out of mobs because it's so much fun. Which I generally don't do in other MMOs because it feels too much like grinding. But in this it's just fun. And again, right now we're with a limited set of weapons and abilities, and it's still fun. Um, 
So wait till we start getting some more stuff going on. Never mind, I should have used the consumable. Now, interesting though, it's a good uh, time for me to tell you there. Notice that there was a timeout there. Um, the option I've got is escape to flee. If another character is nearby me, uh, I'll just flee. Because the sounds have screwed up again. Good one. Um, if there was another player nearby me and they wished to, I, I would appear to them as if, um, like I'd have an E over my head in that symbol. They would actually be able to come and revive me before that 10 second timer counts out. So any player can revive another player. You don't have to be a healer um, of any description, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's put me back to my safe point, uh, so I'm going to have to travel back over there um, to, to carry on with this quest. So let's do that, and in the meantime, hunt for things. Oh, there we go. Yay. Metro Transit. Current transit time is two minutes. Metro Transit. Faster than a speeding bullet. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, we will actually, in the storyline, we'll, we'll get to see the Metro Transit station um, a bit later on. Alright, so let's carry on beating up these soulless people. Actually, oops, mouse spazzed out. That's my mouse, not the game. Alright. Consumable, so that top might go back up. Let's go get one more of these guys with the globe. Oop, grounded by the big guy. I'll zoom out a bit, sorry, I tend to play with my camera. Zoom in. my journal. Faust is feeding off these souls, so the fewer he gets, the better. Alright, nice reward of gloves and in a style that I haven't yet collected. I like that. Step right up here on the block. Room with a random loot drop with amazing prizes. Hey, it's my good friend, the total stranger. I'm Ambush Bug. Here's your ball ticket. To use it, just complete the ambush bug quest in your communicator, then equip the ticket. Activate it and blammo! Into the vault! Thanks for playing. Alright. Good timing. Heaps of stuff has happened. So, for a start, um, I... Faust has whoops. retreated to this theater to begin his foul ritual. Zatanna has him cornered inside, but he is protected by his magents, and she is alone. 
Join the battle to fight at her side and end Faust's vile plot. And there goes the sound. Look. Looks like it's any time there's a voiceover, it resets the sound, so I might submit a bug report for that one. Anyhow, um, we leveled and we gained access to something new, so let's just go through and see what's happened here. So for a start, we've got some new gloves, and they do heaps and heaps of cool stuff, new, more DPS, more health, more power. I want power, because um, obviously that powers all my abilities. Um, and there's a new style so let's equip those babies and we'll go to the style tab for the hands and we'll see what um oh actually wait a minute were they was it a weapon it was uh, it was a weapon my bad so i'll put that back to bare hands but it still gave us a style which is good that's good um what else have we got there it's the old ones and some uh, vendor trash, no problemo. Go into the journal. Um, now I have this. This is the vault. So I'm going to show you here. The vault allows me. Oops, I I accessed it. Whoops, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have done the quest. But this is a. Uh, I think it comes welcome, up daily. Welcome, one and all, to Joker's room of fun, mayhem, and prizes. What will it be? Something to flatten your opponents? Or just some useless crap? Who knows? You pays your money and you takes your chances. Break the presents and get your prizes. Alright, so that was the Joker. We're in the vault. Um, so Yeah, okay, that gave us that's interesting. I didn't that's new. Basically this vault ticket, um, use this item for extra trips to the vault so um, you can get to the vault two ways generally speaking it'll um, appear up here if it's available and if you've done it I'm not sure what the timer is on if it's daily or what but there'll be a lockout there but perhaps that ticket that I got will allow me sort of free access to it at some point um, but basically the vault is um, yeah the vault is like this massive room of loot Basically, basically, we have to smash the presents that the Joker has put there, and, and you've got to kind of avoid these balls because they do damage to you. Um, yeah, it's like a, a loot pinata. So. so we can either pick them up or just smash them. And it's not timed as far as, well, it wasn't in beta anyway. Um, so we just basically have to go through and smash everything up, and some of them. Sometimes they respawn. It's just like a bonus level, I guess. You can also um, these things blow up. Um, they're like dynamite. You can destroy them or throw them as well. Uh, in fact, let's try and target one. There we go. So you can get rid of them before they do damage to you, because it can get quite annoying, frustrating. Well, it's not frustrating, but I guess it's designed to not make it super easy. Some crazy thing, crazy idea that the Joker would come up with, obviously. That's it. Game's over. Step along, step along, nothing to see. Alright, so they just told us that there's nothing else in here. So, what did we get? Oh, look at that. We actually got a belt um, in a style that I'd already collected, unfortunately. But still, it's random. <clears throat> you do get new stuff that is only available in there. All right. So yeah, that's just a silly little um, side adventure thing that comes up. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it comes up daily. Um, it's just a another thing to do, and it's a good source of cash and the odd unique 
um, item that will drop. So yeah, pretty cool. Alright, so back out into the main city. Um, like I said, I'm sure you don't want to watch me going through quest after quest after quest, and especially if you end up getting the game yourself, you'll um, probably not want me to spoil the storyline for you. Um, why is that taking so long to load in? That's a bit unusual. Maybe their world server has gone down or something. We'll soon find out. Um, so the next video, I'll, I'll keep playing my character and leveling it up. <clears throat> and the next video will actually be when we get to something exciting, something different. So either a, a dungeon or a group PvP or group dungeon queue um, um, thing that pops up when I've leveled up a bit more. Which won't take me very long. And like I said, this is taking forever. I've got a funny feeling that it's probably going to come up and say that the world has gone down or something. That the it, the servers have gone down a couple of times. I mean, it's only been out for less than a week, so got to expect some problems. Um, so look, I might kill the video here, uh, and we'll see you next time when there's something exciting. All right, I hope you've enjoyed. Anything, anything you want to know specifically, any requests. Um, or content that you want to see just leave a note in one of the videos or you can um, Twitter me at um, Sambo NZ S-A-M-B-O-N-Z and I'll try and um, find out any answers to your questions you might have. Alright take care we'll see you again soon.